Hi, welcome to another live trading session with Optionables. I am Saket and today we are going to review the trades taken on 15th of April, which is an expiry day. So today was a very volatile day and uh, the markets opened uh, almost gap up of around 300 to 400 points. Uh, from there, it went to negative 200 points, which is almost a 600 point fall. And later it bounced back again 600 to 700 points. So it was a pretty big wild V-shaped move. So uh, which means obviously we are going to have a, a tough time adjusting our positions throughout the day. Since this was uh, expiry date trade, uh, we did take some discretionary trades along with the system trade, uh, which actually helped us reduce our loss. Otherwise, we, are, we, uh, we did have a huge loss at one point in time. So for people uh, who are um, new to this channel, so we have basically played the entire video at a speed of 50x in time lapse. So the entire uh, day's trade of almost 5 hours gets covered in hardly few minutes. So let me go through what all happened and what all we did after that. So initially we had taken a trade at 10 o'clock and uh, right after we took the trade the market started falling. And when this, uh, when this fall started happening, surprisingly even for us, there was absolutely no theta decay in the morning session. So the market uh, kept on going down and our loss just started increasing. There was no theta decay at all. So we generally when there is a fall in uh, market or ma when the market goes up, usually when uh, CE gains, the PE loses, when PE loses, the CE gains. And uh, after the stop loss is hit and if the market reverses, you will go into big loss but here before the stop loss actually getting triggered itself you were already in a loss of 1.5 lakh. So then uh, we did purchase some hedge positions also we were half hedged and we also had a stop loss. When the market fell uh, our loss as I told you had gone to 1.5 lakh and then uh, from there on we just wanted the market to end below uh, 31,900. If that had happened, because we had done a short trade at 31,900, if that had happened, we would have ended with quite good profits. And around 11, 11, 1130, 11.45, the markets had come down quite a lot, almost to 31,400, a 500 point crash. During this time, our M2M had gone to almost 1.5 lakh. So from negative 1.5 lakh, we went all the way to positive 1.5 lakh. And this was a recovery close to somewhere 3 lakh in just hardly one and a half, two hours. So this was a very wild ride and then after that around uh, time of 12.15 to 12.30 the market started bouncing back and the bounce was very severe and it uh, before we could take the 1 o'clock trade uh, so usually we take trades at 1 o'clock so before we could take the trade the market had already come to 800 so 31,800 and uh, by this time we already had a loss of uh, somewhere close to uh, 2 to 2.5 lakh. So we had a loss around the range of 2 to 2.5 lakh. And then we took the 1 o'clock trade also. And after we took the 1 o'clock trade, so the market almost moved in and around that same range for quite a, quite a while. And uh, we were able to recover a part of the losses. And then we also took the 2 o'clock trade. Here one thing happened. So right after we took the trade, uh, what actually happened was the markets fell down and the PE stop loss got triggered. So we had kept the PE stop loss little on the lower side. So technically it had to be little on the higher side. Uh, but uh, since the market was looking positive, we just kept it little on the lower side. So it was a mistake on our part, uh, but we kept it little on the lower side. And unfortunately for us, 3900 PE, which we had sold at almost 180, hit our stop loss at 310. And that was the highest point uh, it reached. So the stop loss which we, it got triggered for us was the highest point it reached. And then on it ended up becoming zero. So by this time itself, our loss had widened quite a lot because the market came down, hit the stop loss and our loss had already gone to three and a half lakh. And when it bounced back, our loss went to as much as five and a half lakh. So that was our loss at one point in time. And we had a, uh, so we usually trade on basis of uh, percentage capital aid on a daily basis, which means that if we lose around 3% uh, of the capital on a daily basis, we are just cutting off the trade. And 3% of the capital for us 
is coming somewhere around seven and a half lakh. So whenever uh, we hit seven and a half lakh of loss, we just cut off our trade. And the markets had fallen, and um, we had an MTM loss of almost five point five lakh, and we had two more lakh to risk. So then we started doing. Uh, after the market bounced back, we started doing thirty two thousand short straddles. So our only idea was once it reaches six and a half lakh, we are just cut. So seven and a half lakh is the threshold. But uh, if the trade, so we closed down all the positions, and we decided, okay, uh, we are at a loss of five point five lakh. So we will again do short straddles at thirty-two uh, thousand. In case if our MTM goes beyond a point of six and a half lakh, we'll just cut it down, and we'll try one more small trade. And if it reaches seven and a half lakh, we'll cut it completely for the day. So then we started doing short straddle at thirty-one, uh, thirty-two thousand. So we added first two thousand quantity of short straddle. Slowly started increasing. So one point we went to. Almost four thousand quantity of short straddle. Now theta decay started to work brilliantly. So from the time of almost two uh, fifteen uh, to two forty five, there was brilliant theta decay, and the market just moved in and around thirty two thousand. Went up the thirty forty points, came down for thirty forty points. Again went down thirty forty points, came down forty points. So the market was very range bound, and this helped us quite a lot in having a. Very nice trading session, and uh, after this, uh, we were able to recover the losses all the way from five point five lakh to as low as one point five lakh just by this short straddle. And the market absolutely moved nowhere, and this helped us gain lot of advantage. And then we closed down a bit of our position, and uh, we had done short straddle at thirty-two uh, thousand, and then we again did a short straddle. At when so during uh, the last fifteen minutes, that is around uh, three o'clock, the market started shooting up. So this time we expected the market to end in the range of thirty to one hundred itself because we were not seeing lot of buying coming in, nor did we see lot of selling. So we expected the market to end in this range itself. And um, so during this time, we added some more puts at thirty to one hundred. And uh, we added almost five thousand quantity of puts at thirty to one hundred, and we had calls open. So overall, uh, our loss again went to one point five lakh because the market started shooting up. So we thought, okay, we will clear the positions, enter a new straddle at thirty uh, to one hundred, and we did the same, and this gave us a brilliant result. So we were again able to recover lot of loss, and we ended with a total loss of around sixty five, sixty one thousand. So it had been a it has been a very volatile day. Uh, luckily, we were able to uh, recover our losses and end the day uh, with a uh, on a very slight negative note. So thank you for joining today's video. We'll be again taking a trade tomorrow, and we'll be catching you tomorrow in the live trading session. Uh, hope you have uh, enjoyed this video. Please do like if you have like. Please do like the video, and please don't forget to. Subscribe to the channel for more such content. Thank you so much.